No. Batted out. Taken down. Here's Armani Brooks. Oh! Armani Brooks from Burlington. Able to get it. Scotty goes back. Thanks very much, Bill. Uh, thanks, Eric. Go ahead with the questions. Hey, Armani. Uh, thanks for taking the time tonight. Uh, obviously, I mean, the Raptors brought you in for a few things, but they need the shooting. Yo, YouTube, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Demi, and welcome back to the second channel for the Raptors content. And today, we're going to be talking about why Armani Brooks should stay for the Raptors. If you are new, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe as we are on the road to 100 subscribers for our second channel. But this will be all Raptors content. So if you are new, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And let's get into a full video. Let's run it. Armani Brooks gave him his time to shoot some Rockets. He wasn't given his full opportunity despite scoring 20 points in a small streak of two or three games after he got waived by the Houston Rockets afterwards. The reason why he got waived that he didn't fit in the Rockets system as they built up a core young players along with Jalen Green, Josh Christopher, and with despite him being undrafted. And I must say the Red and the Raptors then came to his plate later on, later on in the season in about March and offered him a contract. Earlier in March, the Raptors were looking for more guard play off their bench. Armani Brooks had flourished in that role in completely in a guaranteed way. Armani Brooks, after a split with the Houston Rockets, had seen his opportunity to his full advantage with the Toronto Raptors. The Raptors would keep Armani Brooks in their future plans due to his foreseen development on an offensive end, as for use of his height in the Raptors system, and his guard abilities on both sides of the court as we saw already earlier in the season. As the Raptors have a team full of lengthy and rip style defenders, Armani Brooks has flourished in this role as he fits the Raptors system perfectly. As for his player build, he is 6'3", the tallest guard in the Raptors as Fed Van Lee and Malachi Flynn are 6 foot and 6 foot 1 as the point guard is the primary position Armani plays. Also, his wingspan, he has a 6'9", long wingspan like most of the players in the Raptors as most of the players in the Raptors have a wingspan of 7 foot and above. Armani Brooks giving a small center side with the Toronto Raptors. He has been giving it on the rebounding end as he's getting 5 rebounds a game, close to 2 steals, for 36 minutes on average, I defend the three very well on three attempts as the points don't score in him. Given his defensive efforts, he's given a defensive field goal percentage of 31% with the likes of OG at 32%, so that correlates as he's a good defender. As he's active on both sides of the court, he gets in the passing lanes and he gets in the lanes as well. But as for the Raptors, Armani Brooks is a problem on the court to give him a small sample size, but he makes the Raptors defense and offense lethal as he's a switch army knife on and off the court. As for Armani here, let's look at some offensive plays and defensive plays that make him so lethal in this Raptors offense and defense. I see Gary Trent here ask for a screen from Fletcher Chua. Fletcher Chua slips down on a high screen. Then he kicks to Scotty as, as Jokic miss rotates. And then the ball wins swing swing and off to Siakam in the corner for an open three. Now let's look at the next play. As you see Brooks here, as you see Brooks, he's getting caught in the screen by Jeff Green. He gets over the screen, Scotty there for the help, and then they trap Barton on the drive. And then the Raptors are on the run out, and now you see Scotty in the lane. He's running, he's running. Then he kicks it out to Brooks, and then Brooks slows down the offense. And then Brooks resets it and gives it out to Siakam for an open layup on the drive. As you see Armani Brooks here, he has very good passing vision and always recognizes when his teammates are open, which is very good for the Raptors offense as they need a playmaker on that side of the court. As for now, let's see Armani Brooks, how he played at the Cleveland game. I see the Raptors get to steal in a fast break. Brandon Goodwin's on the run. He's getting off the run. He thinks it'll open layup. I'm already swat that. Okay, next play here. Here comes pressure on a Fed Family handoff. The Cavs look to help. They look to help. And then they miss rotate off that wing. And Armani books a wide open three. And he drains the three in. And he makes a bucket. I see on that play here, the Cavs miss rotate on the handoff screen. They top pressure two on the slip. And that made Armani Brook wide open on the wing. Here on defense, here, look at what happens. Armani Brooks is playing in the corner here, and then he rotates off of Fed Van Vliet. He goes back, he switches on Garland, then he comes back, pass, then he gets to steal in the passing lane, then he's off to races. As for the next play here, Garland gets pinned down on the screen, and Fed Van Vliet misses the shot. As you see, pushes all the active on the board, he doesn't get it, and then Armani gets in a reset, and sets his feet, and then he makes the shot, as no one's there to help. 
and that drained the three in the fourth quarter. And the crowd is going nuts. Please did the Cavaliers calling a timeout as the Raptors are up 13. As I show you guys in the film breakdown, Armani Brooks is a very good shooter and versatile off ball defender in the Raptors offense and defense. If he stays in the Raptors for a long while, he can space up the floor for everybody and make rotation on defense much easier. Armani's production and versatility in the Raptors offense makes him lethal and very efficient in this Raptors playstyle. But anywho, if Armani Brooks can develop time and time again, he can be a very good point guard off the bench if Fred Van Vliet or Malachi Flynn is out. But that's all I gotta say on Armani Brooks for the film breakdown, and let's get back to the analysis. As for Armani Brooks, given his time in the Raptors, I feel like with his given time given on the bench and maybe being a starter soon, he can flourish and develop into being a good young role player. As for Armani, he can be given opportunities above and beyond for the future, like for the likes of Pascal Siakam, Fed Van Lee, and many others, as he can play in the G League and play in many other places outside of basketball. As for a small player, the Raptors saw that and offered him to a cheap two-year contract along for a while to keep him for now and the long term. As for his future here with the Toronto Raptors, I think it holds him for a very long time and maybe quite a while if all goes correct. Given the future and the future building core the Raptors with Scotty Barnes, OG Aranubi, Pascal Siakam, and Fed Van Vliet, this team has a lot of room to grow. This team was always back to where it's been. As for being a Raptor like Armani Brooks now, if you're being a Raptor, you lay yourself on both ends of the court like all players as they play each and every night with a hard and great mentality. This Raptor team is very special, lethal, and a work in progress for days to come. And Armani himself is already making noise as he's already on their team, as he's getting reps in the G League, giving roles out of the bench, getting roles in starting lineup. Brooks now has risen to the occasion in the most correct and aspiring way possible, giving praise from his teammates and the Raptors coaching staff. Perhaps I feel like he keep Armani Brooks for a long term given his time and advancement of Raptors with his potential and development on a defensive and offensive end and his foreseen future in the Raptors is very long term. Armani is ready to make a name for himself and ready to blossom as a player and grow as a great young player for the Raptors that I said already in this video as they need help desperately off the bench at the correct time as the playoffs near. Well you know y'all, that has been a good video on Armani Brooks and why he should possibly stay at the Raptors for the future. And um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I want to keep bringing content almost every other week or every week. So if you are new, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. It's right about 100 subscribers. And I'm out. Peace. To glass, precious, unable to get it. Scotty goes back. Denied Brooks.